Now that the cold weather is here, you are probably wanting to get out on the ice. Here are a few things you need to know before you take the plunge. Well, so you don't take a plunge. To determine how much weight something can hold, you need to know its bearing strength. For ice sheets, the bearing strength ranges between 50 PSI, which stands for pounds per square inch, and 250 PSI. And now that depends on a lot of factors, including weather. Ice sheet strength increases with the square of its thickness. So a two inch ice sheet will hold four times as much as a one inch ice sheet. You can see how that can scale up pretty quickly, and that is why a truck doesn't need that much more ice than a group of people. To be safe, it is best to use the 50 PSI value in your calculations. And that leads to the general regulations you see just about everywhere. Going ice fishing with a couple of friends? Wait until there's about four inches of ice. Want to take your snow machine or your ATV? Five inches. A small car? Eight to 12 inches. Your truck? 12 to 15 inches. When you first arrive at a water body, you don't know how thick the ice is. So that's why it's very important to bring with you a spud. What that is, is a long pole that's very heavy and very sharp in the end, and you use it to poke the ice before you walk, and so you know it's safe to walk there. There you have it, ice safety demystified. But these are only guidelines. No ice is safe ice, so be diligent and pay attention to your surroundings.